Horns up and welcome to Headbangers Kitchen where below each video in the description box is a link to the written recipe with macros and other useful information. My name is Sahil, I'm a death metal musician and I'm also the author of the recipe book called Keto Life. Hey folks, today I'm going to show you a very simple and delicious keto meal. We're going to be cooking up a delicious pan roasted chicken with some green beans served with a creamy curry sauce. And just so that you know ladies and gentlemen, there is nothing like curry sauce in India. But I'll elaborate more on the blog post so make sure you check that out. Anyway, this meal is great for dinner, lunch or even breakfast maybe, you know, if you like to mix things up a little bit. Anyway, enough jibber jabber, let's get cooking. So we are going to start with the chicken and I'm using a full chicken leg that has been deboned and still has the skin on. However, you can do this recipe with chicken legs, chicken thighs, chicken breast, whatever you like, no problem. So the first thing I'm going to do is season the skin side of the chicken with salt and just let it sit for 15 minutes. And this is going to help us get a nice and crispy chicken skin. Now I'm going to prep our French beans or green beans, whatever you like to call them. And I'm just going to chop off the tops and the bottoms and then cut it right down the middle. Pretty simple. Cut the top, cut the bottom, cut down the middle. We could make this a song ladies and gentlemen. Cut the top, cut the bottom, right down the middle. Anyway, that's enough for the French beans. So to cook my French beans, I'm going to get my non-stick pan on the stove and I'm going to heat up a knob of butter. Now if you're wondering why my butter is white, well that's because this is unsalted butter as I ran out of salted butter, but you can use salted butter, no problem. Anyway, once the butter has melted, I'm going to put my green beans into the pan and I'm going to season them with some salt and also some black pepper. And because I'm feeling very dangerous, I'm throwing in a few red chili flakes. And then I'm going to give the beans a good toss to ensure that they are all coated with that butter, the salt, the pepper, the chili flakes. And then what I'm going to do is put in some water and then I'm just going to cover it with a lid and cook it for about 4 to 5 minutes till the beans are nice and tender. And of course after about 4 or 5 minutes the water has evaporated, the beans are tender and they are pretty much done and ready to eat. Perfect. So now that the beans are done, it's time to get on to cooking that chicken. So now to cook my chicken, I'm using my stainless steel pan and I've got it on the stove on a medium high heat and I'm heating up some avocado oil and now you want to let the avocado oil get really nice and hot till it starts smoking and then you're going to put the chicken in skin side down yep put that chicken in skin side down and then I'm going to season the other side which we didn't season earlier with some salt and some black pepper and now you're just going to let that chicken cook on the skin side for a good four to five minutes on a medium to high heat. What's going to happen is the chicken fat is going to render out that skin is going to become delicious and nice and crispy. So just be patient and let it cook. And after about five minutes of cooking, oh, hello, come to daddy. That chicken looks so good. That skin is beautiful golden and crispy and that's just like food porn right there oh man anyway cook it on the other side for another three to four maybe even five minutes and then well just remove your chicken from the pan and of course let the chicken rest because it's had a really hard day now i'm quickly going to take a spring onion and separate the white part from it chop the white part up then chop some of the green part of it and then chop up the middle part and set them all aside. Now you can see after cooking the chicken there's a lot of residual oil in the pan. So I'm going to add the white part of the spring onion now and also some minced garlic. And I'm going to give it all a good mix. Also notice the fond, the brown stuff at the bottom. That is a lot of flavor right there. 
and now you just want to cook this till the garlic starts to turn golden brown and as soon as you see it turning golden brown you're going to put in about a teaspoon in fact a heaped teaspoon of curry powder now I'm just using this generic curry powder that I picked up in Bangkok but you can get this in most Asian grocery stores and if there is no way for you to get this then well I'll give you a few other options check the blog post on headbangers kitchen anyway put that curry powder in and you're going to fry this now for exactly 60 seconds so give it all a good mix the curry powder the oil the garlic the spring onion it's all going to fry together and get aromatic and at this point after 60 seconds of cooking this you're going to take your chicken and there should be some resting juices in the plate pour those into the pan and you're also going to pour in some water as well and what we're doing now is we're also deglazing the pan so scrape the brown bits from the bottom of the pan there's a lot of flavor in that and give everything a good mix and as you can see your sauce already has a rich golden color almost I won't even say brown I'll say golden from that curry powder anyway now I'm going to add some heavy whipping cream to my sauce and I'm going to give it all a good mix now my American friends I can already see some of you wondering what kind of cream am I using because the heavy whipping cream in America is not so thick anyway that doesn't matter use the standard heavy whipping cream you get if you live in the UK use double cream and what you're going to do is you're going to reduce the sauce down to the thickness that you are happy with now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grate some cheddar cheese into this sauce and what the cheese actually does apart from giving great flavor is actually help thicken the sauce because that cheese is going to melt and the sauce is going to reduce and it's going to get nice and thick without us having to use any flour or any xanthan gum or any other thickener and now you want to cook the sauce down I like to get it to a consistency where it coats the back of the spoon for me that's perfect anyway before I finish things off I'm going to check the sauce for seasoning and I felt like it needed a little bit of salt so I seasoned it with some salt and then there was also a little more of those resting juices in the chicken plate so I poured that in and I gave everything a good mix and finally I threw in the middle part of the spring onion gave it all a good mix and my sauce was ready and it looked oh so good now to plate up I'm going to first put some curry sauce at the bottom of the plate then I'm going to put on the pieces of chicken oh yeah and then I'm going to put those green beans around the plate wherever there's space and finally I'm going to finish it with the green part of the spring onion and that's it ladies and gentlemen our delicious chicken in a curry sauce with green beans is ready and your dinner is now sorted but of course I can't let you go without cutting into that chicken and just showing you how beautiful it looks so make sure you dip it in that curry sauce and that ladies and gentlemen is one tasty dish hey folks I hope you enjoyed that recipe please smash that like button if you did and subscribe to headbangers kitchen for more awesome keto recipes and do hit the bell icon so you get notifications when I upload a new video anyway you'll find many more keto recipes on this YouTube channel as well as my website until the next one cheers and keep cooking Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, I am a musician and I just released a brand new song and I'd love for you to check out the video and let me know what you think. If you don't like heavy metal music, well, just click here and watch another keto recipe video.